Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Python logging tutorial, we are going to understand how you can add or customize the messages that are being displayed into your log files and add a bit more information or remove the information that you do not want to view in the log file. Say for example, here you see the log level being displayed, then colon root and the message. Now say for example, I want to add the timestamp to these log files or the instances that are being logged. How can I do that? So that is also absolutely simple task. In the basic config, what you have to do is you have to just provide the format of the logs that you want to log. Okay. And how you can find what format can be accepted. So simply go to the official documentation. And here, if you see that we have this basic config and then format, and here we have some of the information around the format. Now the complete format list you will get in the log record attributes, right? So simply go to this particular page and say, for example, I want to log the time, right? So ascending time, so human readable time when the log record was created. So it will create something like this, the timestamp into my log file. So I'll simply copy it. And in my program against um, with the form with the format, I will simply provide ascending time. Okay. And then if you want to specify any of the separator, I can provide the separator space and hyphen. Okay. Now along with the ascending time, what else I want to log? I want to say, for example, I want to log the level name, right? So I want to log the level debug, debug info warning. That's, that's important, right? So that is helpful. So I will simply say level name, right? And then after that, say, for example, I want to separate by colon and then log the message. Okay. So I'll go to the list again and see what is the format for logging the message. So this is the format for logging the message. And there are many other formats and many other attributes that you can use in order to change the way the messages are being logged. Okay. So I'll just copy the message and just go to the program here and paste the message. All right. So that's pretty much it in order to change the format of the logs that are being logged into the file. So if I run this particular code now, it has been finished. Let me open the logs and you will see now the logs are logged a bit differently. So there is a timestamp, right? So ascending time and then there's a hyphen, which is format we have done. Then the level followed by colon and the message. And now you will see this root has disappeared because we haven't logged it, right? So root logger will understand about it, why we don't need to use it in the advanced tutorial. But this is basically the simple stuff to start with the logging. And this is how you will format your logs. Okay. Now say for example, you want to change this time in a different way. You want to look into a different or you want to format it, right? So what you can do is you can simply use, if you see here, you can use this date format attribute as well, right? Uh, date format argument as well. And then you can specify the format in which you want to look the time as, okay? Say for example, as of now, I'll simply copy this format. Okay. So when you'll copy this format, your time will change something like this, right? So your month, day and year and then the time and AM and PM, right? So I'll simply copy this date format and in the program here, comma separated, I'll also mention that when there is a date, when the time is there, I want the date format to look like this, right? So let's run it and open the demo logs file again, right? So now you will see that it has completely changed the format. This was the previous run, right? And this is the new run with the new format, right? So this is basically, you know, a month and the day and the year and the time at which this particular log was created, right? So this is, you know, very briefly how you can uh, display the date time in the messages, how you can format it. And this is very important file here, right? This is very important page here, basically log record attribute. Just keep it handy with you because you don't need to memorize everything, right? You just need to know where to look for when you want to format a particular log message the way you want to. Just go through, refer to it, read a little bit. And if you know the process, simply use it, right? No need to memorize anything when you when you want to, you know, like learn a lot of things. These are not the things that you need to memorize, right? So that's pretty much all about the tutorial on how you can change the format of displayed messages in the log file. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.